Oh man, it was not my day today. That is for sure. Um, it just is what it is. I was not seeing the market clearly. Got over leveraged. Uh, too early in the day on a dip. Had to exit. So I wouldn't hit my max drawdown on the day that I allow myself. And basically took an L. So let's go ahead and dive into the trades for the day. What happened, what I was looking for originally and how I could have been better. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. So on the day, um, NASDAQ is up here around all time highs. My rule of thumb typically is at all time highs. I am pretty much only going long. Uh, all time highs typically equate to a long, slow grind. A lot of people want to try and fade the all time highs and that just creates more strength for the next move to the upside, etc. So going into the day, um, yesterday was a super slow, long grind to the upside, really boring. I thought we were going to have the same thing today. And what I wanted to see was a little pullback here to this untested wick at uh, 13,980. And I wanted to see a nice move off of that. I talked about it pre-market, etc. So what I did was I put two orders in there at 13,980 uh, right here. The idea was that I would take one off. Right? I normally only ever stack one order at a time, right? Y'all know that. The idea was that I would take one for seven points profit and let one run. Yesterday, I wish I would have had two contracts in because I wanted to take one and let one run because we ended up running all day long, right? Which was great. Um, today, I wanted the same thing. I thought we were going to have the same thing. We were down here at the minus three zone. Uh, obviously, we had some sellers coming through, but down here at 80, I thought we were going to test the wick and rip off of it. And that just was not the case. Um, we got a little bit of profit here. Got filled on the second one, and then that was just game over. Uh, we never really saw the light of day from there. From that point on, uh, we had a nice flush to the downside. I was ready to add one more contract in for my max of three positions. Um, if you don't know and you're new to the channel, I really, really, really tried my hardest to not go below three thousand loss on the day, uh, and I try my best to not go above three contracts. Right? Those are kind of my rules of thumb. My other rules of thumb are if we're in the minus two, minus three zone. I'm looking for longs uh, to buy the dip for the mean reversion because this is what I do, right? Uh, we ended up hugging the minus two, minus three for a long time. And this doesn't happen often. And when it does, I get screwed. Uh, just plain and simple. This is a great example. So we hugged the minus two, minus three. I added a third contract here because buyers were looking really good. ES was ripping right around here and got slapped, right? Uh, so my average was probably right around here. I think it was like 70 or so. Uh, and got slapped. We uh, rolled over, a bunch of sellers came through, and I took one contract off because I realized I was probably getting close to drawdown, and then I killed both because I did get close to drawdown. I ended the day minus $2,856, which sucks, but two things, right? One, minus $2,000 sucks no matter who you are, no matter what day it is, whatever, it sucks. The thing is, is one, I didn't hit my 3K limit, so that's good. I'm proud of myself for that too. I live to trade another day, right? So while this sucks, I'm living to trade another day. I'm not putting myself in a position to where I'm going to be screwed moving forward, right? And that's the kicker. Um, you got to always understand your account sizes, what you're limited to. If you're using top step or something else like that, um, for instance, I'm using top step right now. You can see TS Trader down here. I'm using the 150K account. So I just can't let it go. I can't have a $3,000 loss in a day where I lose the account, but... Up to 3K is fair game. So I'm going to utilize that because it's their risk on the table. It's their margin. Uh, I already proved to them that I was a good trader through a two-step process. So anything I make is an 80% split. I get 80%, they take 20%. Anything I lose is on them. So I'm going to be willing to kind of milk it a little more than I normally would be. Um, so I live to trade another day. Um, losing top steps and money, but that's okay. Uh, it is what it is. The other thing that sucks is that I like basically got out the short term low and I called this out during the stream this morning. In case you didn't know, we live stream every single morning, Monday through Friday, 820 central. We're live streaming these future sessions that I'm recapping. And I was like, man, I think I just, I think I just exited at the lows. And sure enough, we ripped up, uh, probably would have gotten, I mean, I wouldn't have gotten back to break even no way, but I would have been a hell of a lot better off than $2,800, $2,800 in the red. Basically since that point, we've been bouncing between the minus two and the minus one. Staring deviations, just chopping this nice 20, 30 point range. Uh, and it's just kind of looking to see what it's going to do. 
Um, this is earnings week. There's a bunch of earnings going on, and I thought that was also going to equate to a slow grind. However, hindsight says earnings typically range out, and so be ready for the range and just be patient on the entries. I got into my first couple of entries here about 15 minutes into the market open, which is normally fair enough, um, but I should have been more patient. So the recap for me today is be more patient. Um, be more willing to cut on the strength on the downside, right? You see the strength on the downside. Don't try and catch the daily wick. Just play the momentum and understand that sellers are really in control. Daily wick is not going to stop that, right? That's the big takeaway as well. Um, and then the third takeaway is why change it up? Why do this? I never do this, right? I always go one in at a time, never two. So why would I change it up in order to try and catch one runner? That's not my style. Don't break your style. Uh, don't, don't fix something that's not broke. Right. Um, so that's a big takeaway for me is just one lot entries. And if I'm going to add in space it out, this was a fine ad, but I really got to space it out. It allows me to play a lot longer, um, and catch more of the move and see what's actually happening as opposed to immediately getting into two and putting myself in a predicament for the rest of the day, which is exactly what happened today. So three, three big takeaways, right? Live to trade another day. You got to live to trade another day. If you blow up your account in one day, you're screwed for the next day, right? So don't do that. Um, two, one lot entries. Don't try and play the runner. I, everybody always asks me why I don't play the runner. Today, I tried to play the runner, and this is exactly why I don't do it. I need to like tune y'all out, to be honest, and just kind of do my own thing, uh, which is kind of hard. But don't play, the, don't play the runner. Do your thing. One contract entries. That's big takeaway for me. And then number two is, yeah, I'm looking at the daily chart. Yeah, we're going to grind up. Yeah, we might still even buy the dip here, and it might push. But if I'm looking for a daily level and I'm feeling very strong about it, I still got to play the momentum here. We had a ton of sellers coming through. I shouldn't have bought that, just plain and simple. So those are the takeaways for the day on the video. Videos like this suck for me to make, but it's part of trading and I think it's important to showcase. So if you do enjoy these types of videos, even though they are not as fun because I'm losing money and not making money, <laughs> uh, make sure you press that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel on the gold 100K subscribers uh, and trying to get trying to get up there so make sure you come hang out in the in the discord chat which is linked down below and at the live stream which happens every morning monday to friday 8 20 central and last but not least if you are trying to trade and one you don't have capital to trade or two uh, you don't want to risk your own capital like i'm not having to do right here i'm not trading my personal account here because i don't want to put my risk on the table on days like this you can trade top step. I'm trading 150K. It's linked down below. It'll get you 20% off. Um, and you can see the different account sizes that they have. Uh, but just one option. I think there's, a, I mean, there's a ton of different companies out there. There's just one option um, for a funded account if you're interested in that. I will see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.